Okay, so that is the uh, auto pass and the auto adapts algorithm. For the manual, it's, it's really for you to draw on the single plane, but it's not, uh, not so popular, so I won't spend much time here, but you can try if you want. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to the uh, threshold method. Uh, for the threshold method, usually we can use it on uh, this kind of samples. So you can see this is the vascular uh, structure. Let me enable the original channel like this. So this vascular structure, if you want to calculate the total length as well as how many branch points, we can use the uh, threshold best algorithm because you can see there are maybe some loops so auto pass will not work and there are no clear uh, starting points so that's why we cannot use the auto pass algorithm so here i already make the result but we can go through it again and i will stop it in the last step because it takes more time for the threshold algorithm to calculate so here we select the threshold Reason. So you can see there is no diameter calculation. You have to calculate diameter after it's finished. Okay, so here you can select the channel. So you can see here for the original image, we have a certain degrees of this uh, background. So this is not good for our uh, filament tracer to trace the result either on the threshold path or the auto path. So here are uh, tips for this kind of remove, to remove or improve the image quality. Usually, we will apply the uh, surface. We will do the surface on this channel first and use the surface to, to do the mask so we can remove most of these uh, backgrounds. So to do that, usually we do the surface and we can check this original channel and by adjusting this smooth and the intensity uh, background subtraction we can try to make the surface only on the main vascular structure like this and go to next Okay, and they use this threshold of filter to remove the small structures we, we don't want to see, we don't want to keep, we don't want to keep in for our uh, filament tracing like this and the finish. So after we have this surface, then uh, we mentioned previously we have this max function, so you can use this to mask this red channel and the set outside to zero. So now you will be able to get this more clean channel for the threshold pass or auto pass to trace. Okay, so we need to trace on this specific mask channel like this. All right, so here we have some uh, pre-processing uh, functions included in these filaments. So but for this one, we already cleaned the results, so actually we don't need to enable this feature processing. But basically, this is to apply the same uh, similar function like filters and then to smooth and uh, try to remove the, the noise. But we, I, we always suggest to use this kind of uh, surface or some processing, processing functions in the image processing to remove this background or noise uh, first. So this is one useful way to have the more uh, better result. So here I'm just going to uncheck this, go to next step. In the next step, we need to use the threshold to define our structures. So as you can see, if I check uh, both options, then I have this more uh, flexibility in the thresholding. So here for the uh, this uh, yellow color uh, threshold 
we can cover most of the structures like this, including maybe if your image is a little bit uh, with background with some noise, maybe this threshold, this uh, white area, like a little bit transparent the light white area, you can see it covers most of the you know, structures as well as some backgrounds. And for this red color uh, threshold, when I adjust it, you can see there are the bright uh, or white area. Let's call it the light gray and the white. So you can see this white threshold being uh, showed on the image. So this is where your uh, main structure is. So by adjusting these two threshold, Imaras will try to you know, link this white area with this light gray area if there is some uh, structures in between. So for example, uh, this gap in between, Imaras will try to link it. But if there are some um, background area without any, without any structure in white thresholded, then Imaris will not consider it as a real signal. Okay, so for example here, I may reduce a little bit like this. So now here, Imaris will not recognize as the real structure and also maybe some part in between. But I already cleaned my images, so this should be really uh, close, these two threshold. But if there are some more you know, backgrounds, then you should see a lot of uh, light grade area, light grade thresholded area without any real structure. So those areas, Imaris will not, will not uh, you know, draw it as the real uh, dendrite or real uh, branches. Okay, so that is the uh, guideline. So for this one, I will just keep it like this way. So you can see most of the structures I have also already in the white. Okay, so I can go next. All right, so this uh, finish. So in this step, it gives you the option to remove the small branches, which may be of uh, a uh, false de de detection because of this threshold algorithm, it tried to you know, peer uh, this uh, structure layer by layer. And in the end, it may gives you some uh, small uh, branches, which is falsely detected due to this uh, range of the threshold. So here, usually we start from like three. Three is a good number based on our experience. So any uh, branches lens, which is smaller than uh, three, uh, one third of the uh, trunk, or smaller than the three times of the trunk radius, then we, Imaris will try to remove it, okay? So here we usually we start from three, but I will show you the difference, hopefully, if I can. If I use 1.5, oh, this may take some time to calculate. Okay, so now it's going to the scene into skeleton. So this is the, the, the process I mentioned. It's like uh, it will try to look layer by layer around these uh, threshold areas and to try to you know, link all these, link all these uh, areas together. If there are some uh, white um, structures in between, like here. So it may take a longer time. So maybe if you want, you can just uh, try the try and see the difference. But here. Let me see if I can cancel. Okay, so here basically I already have this result, which is based on the ratio of the three, 
ratio of the three. So you can see from here, the branch length ratio is three. So now I can have this uh, clear result without many uh, small uh, branches along with this uh, structure. But after I finish this uh, threshold result, you can see this is basically similar as the auto pass result. So you can still go to here and give the source channel and try to recenter all the filaments if needed. So you can see the more uh, smooth result. And you can also do the diameter calculation if needed, as well as doing all this uh, tracing. Like, like you can delete, you can remove the, the false, false result, and you can redo, redo the tracing from a segment or a branch if needed. Like here. Okay, so here, if I want to trace again, if this is didn't detect it by, by uh, algorithm, so I can go here, sex selection, starting point, and as you can see, I can immediately I can trace again like this. Okay, so for this kind of vascular system, network system, you can look for the total. Uh, filament uh, lens sum. So because we have multiple starting points, maybe, so we can have all these summarized uh, result filament lens. If you want to calculate the total, maybe the easy way is to go to the average values. And for the dendrite filament lens, filament lens here, you can have the sum. So this may be the total lens in this image, okay? So that is basically the, the threshold best algorithm you can use for this kind of uh, samples, especially this vascular system.